guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and today what we're showing you is a video that we shot a little earlier in 2019. Uh, we work with Kiefer Photography to come out and they do beautiful light painting photos of cars, scenery, and all kinds of different stuff, and it's basically like an amazing work of art. Uh, Jerry and Lori came out and actually asked to shoot the shop and they did a really cool panorama shot of the uh, shop and we wanted to show you the process. We documented the whole entire process so we're going to show you that in the video. If you guys are interested we do have the prints of what they shot. You can, uh, after watch the video, you can click the link down in the description. Then I'll take you to our merch store, and you guys can purchase one of these prints and support us and also Kiefer Photography. So enjoy. Okay, so you, just like it is, but just turn it that way, right? You want yes. us just to back up and cut it the hard that way. Exactly. Okay. How's that? What are you thinking? Come forward. Okay. I'll let it down. Well, I guess. I'm Jerry, this is Lori. We are Kiefer Photography and we have our website's Kiefer Fine Art. We specialize in telling the stories of vehicles, cars, uh, could be buildings. We tell our story through photographic art called light painting. And this is a sample of the light painting that we do where we literally light individually every single detail um, in a photograph that is lit. If somebody looks at it, they're, they're like, is that a photograph? Is that a painting? And it's, and I said, no, it's art. And so that's kind of what we do. It's a specialized photography technique. So we actually, we joke that we like to do it in the dark, but that's how we photograph our light paintings. We turn out all the lights so that we have complete control over lighting of all the parts of the final image. Um, so you'll see through the process of this little video here, kind of what we do. We have a lot of fun. We've been lots of places across the country. We've met some cool people, some seen some cool cars. And some amazing collections. Yes, <laughs> really cool collections. Um, cars I didn't know existed until we started doing this, but it's kind of fun. And the tire's not in focus. We need to focus. Yeah, I know. What kind of cars are these? <coughs> Old Fords. Model A's, Model T's. Take it off of um, Live View. You're in autofocus. Because it's that front one is. Now I see the Model A body. It's just shrunk, like. Yeah, we don't do stock here too much. Let's move back some. Anyway, one of the things I try and do is make sure I have plenty of separation between things. Okay. Like I see this draws my eye to being a 
cluttered spot. So I'm probably going to move these rims over here. And so I have separation between here and here. Okay. Yep. Um, this separation here will be done through lighting. Okay. And I'll probably try and tone down that blue a little bit. So how will you, what will you do about the, like the lights are obviously a little overpowering. So you turn all the lights out. Is that yes. what you do? Yep. Okay. Yep. In the dark. Okay, um, cool. So then you we'll, can light, like this sign doesn't easily turn off. Uh oh. I can, but I have to unplug it. It's, it's it can be turned off. It's just um, I just got to climb well, we'll back. We'll try there. and see how it goes. Okay, because I, I can't unplug I think it. It's, it's just, it I think might it's, not be too bright. I think it's dim enough. It's pretty dim usually, but we we can mess with it. But okay, okay. so you'll light individual right. yes. focus points. Okay. So. Anyway, that's pretty much what we'll do. Okay. And do you see anything there that you would like changed? Uh, I think the blue, it looks like the blue jack stand. We should probably either block it with those wheels. That's catching my you eye. Put the rim up against it, Jerry. Because yeah. you can't move the jack. <laughs> yeah, it would probably, the car. yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably the only. Oh, oh, yeah. Now he's <laughs> in live view. Yeah, now I'm in a way. Crazy. I think we're in the matrix. Uh, the only other thing I saw is maybe this stupid thing with this 32 grill on this. Maybe stand it up in the back. You can barely see it. Oh, yeah. It's, so it's a little more. Okay. Right there. So, so you guys said that this is a little different. Ooh. A little different than what you guys normally do, where you're doing a panorama this right. time. Normally we do one shot. Scene. Okay. This time he's going to do two and cool. stitch them. Very cool. So this will be the first or second scene. We'll this do will this be the one first, first, first so scene. I can sit in the corner okay. then before it gets, it'll get colder the later we go. Okay. Yeah, I see one thing that definitely has to change. And yellow the wall behind the grill. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can move that. I was kind of wondering that. That'll stick out with the sore thumb. So tell us about the, the open close for, for those of us that aren't familiar. So I'm holding the phone. The camera sits on the tripod um, where it can't be touched, can't be moved. So you need to control the trigger remotely because if I bump the camera, it makes it impossible to layer up all these photos. Okay, open. Open. So when Jerry's ready to go with the light pass, he'll, he'll open. I will open the shutter with the, of the camera. So it's a long exposure basically as Close. he's moving the light. When he closes, I shut the, the close the shutter. Um, and then the screen, the image will pop up on our screen. Okay. And then when we get back to the computer, he'll take all the images and get each piece of the photo the best lit pieces and layer them all up so the whole photo is okay lit perfect and as i'm lighting she's seeing what i'm doing i'll double check and see if it's right i'm usually zooming in making sure he doesn't have hot spots or miss something
trick I use to get headlights to light up is I take my flashlight, and I take a shot of the top of it, and she does a quick open close of the shutter, and then I'll do a shot. Man, it's like right in my eyes. And I'll do a shot of the bottom. How small for this one? I need to pop it in here. Are they too hot? Um, that one is not, but the top one was. I had to open too long. Take one more. Try not to be in the picture. So that one's really nice. That's why I got the picture first. You can do one as a close-up of the headlight. Oh wow, you can see the lens and everything. Yep. You can't really see it, but <clears throat> there's a yellow hat. Hi. He's got the... Playing with the Matrix. Ooh, the cheese pizza's good too. Yes. Yeah, it's one thing I know. Two things I know, hot rods and pizza. That's about right. No. All right, I'm ready. All right, open. Open. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think you have to count. Oh, it's a little counter. It's amazing. Close. Boom, closed. Stopping bulb. Look at the art I just created, Mike. <laughs> Wait for it. Yes. Now, if you double tap, like where he was, it'll zoom what? in so you can see. Oh God! It, it'll you can't zoom anymore from the app, but you can move it around. Oh, look at you, Matt. You're just an <laughs> artiste. I am something. You pressed two buttons. Artiste. I'm so proud of you. There's a soapbox derby car. No, what is that called? Yep, it's a soapbox derby car hung upside down. <laughs> oh, God. You should have seen how we hung that one. That was not a, that was not an easy task. I want to shoot the race car. Okay, open. Open. Close. Close. I'm walking in front of the camera and the reason I'm not seeing is the light is lighting out in front of me and I remain in the dark. So he doesn't show up in the images. And if you're wondering what this stick is, it's a Home Depot light paint, uh, painter's pole for rollers. Open. Open. What's the idea? Close. Don't okay. see them. That was really nice, Jerry. Cool. Okay, open. I can see the speedometer. Open. Close. Close. Nice. When I'm shooting with uh, with my little flashlight with my elbows, uh, my PVC elbows, if I want the light to come from this direction, the elbow blocks the light from going back in front of the camera, but only lets light come out in the direction that I'm shooting. Well, show them how the end of your PVC and then, is cut at a slant. Depending on how I want to get my hand or flashlight out of the way, I can shoot either direction. So now, if I want the flashlight to come from that direction, I've got left and right elbows. Oh, neat. Open. Open. Close. So do you want a serious or like... Uh, that's, yeah, probably, I mean, I'm not going to do like a <laughs> cheesy smile face yeah. generally. Because this is something you could use like for your, you yeah, yeah, for yeah. the garage. Yeah, 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 that would be great. 
Um, yeah, generally something like that okay. is probably. Okay, then add the camera. Hold on, I gotta wake the flash back up. It went to sleep. I hate when they do that. Ready? As soon as it stops buffering. Check it. I think you keep your hands in your pockets, but let's not lean. Okay. Um, so kind of, I put, let me see. Yeah. Looks so official, Matt. I like that. That's like the That's hand. a good one. Mm -hmm. 